Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Lathwaite Community Stadium as this spectacular National League season advances into Woking's 40th game of the campaign. Shouting out instructions to their 11 players. Gorman. It's an excellent ball into the box. Needs a touch. Does get one. Saved by Ross. And missed at the back post by Emmanuel Fernandez. What a save from Ross, but really, what a miss from Fernandez. Yes, it was. Now, it might have been going wide, but on the other hand, I think I think Barnett had, had got a yard on the Woking defence and they were they were coming in fast, so probably needed to be saved. And then... Uh, Every player back for Woking, Bar Ammond. Long throw, central, uprises, McNerney, towering header above everybody else. Lofthouse, was he pushed by De Havilland? Players allowed to resume. Flicked out to the right by Cropper. Winter, back to Cropper, low ball, finds Cabamba on the turn, edge of the box, wonderful goal! Stunning goal from Barnett and the scorer, Harry Pritchard. Beautiful goal, well, really well worked. Really well worked goal and, uh, and in the somewhere in the mix there, Jim Kellerman picked up a yellow card, but it's, uh, yeah, it was two or three balls laid off and then Pritchard just outside the box, picked his spot and put it away really well. And if Barnett find a second, they really are in trouble. Carnu easily around Moss. Carnu, Good save from Ross. Yeah, yeah good work. Carnu uh, had two men on him, but he cut inside. and It was goal-bound. Quite a nice height for Ross, and he was able to sort of... Save from Grinsby. Another ridiculous throw. Rebounds off McNerney. Kabamba! Saved by Ross. Kabamba's kept it in play. Over the head of Wakefield. Will it fall to Pritchard? No. It does now. Well. Was he pushed by Kellerman? Yes, but Fines is the referee. That's a poor ball from Ince to bring Woken out of trouble. Challenge from Kellerman on De Havilland. And how much would the Woking, Woking supporters want to see an equaliser before half-time to set up the second half? Casey, beyond the keeper, arriving is Ince! Off the goal line from Kabamba! They want the goal, it's not going to be given. The linesman had a good view of it as well. Yeah, Rowan Ince rose at the far post and was a clear head or so above everyone else and got a great header back across the goal and Kabamba cut the Kabamba covered well Casey into his header again oh and it's missed from two yards from Reese Brown gets a nudge in the back from the goalkeeper as well what a chance Reese Brown can't yeah. believe it hands to his face in shock more than anything how he's missed that chance, he's put it so far over. Yeah, great opportunity now. I think it was McNerney was one of the head. Casey towards the back post. Up rises McNerney. Can they get it over the line? They can't. It's another corner. <laughs> it's a real portfolio of chances. Dean Brennan screaming to the fourth official, where's the half-time whistle? Well, you can't because Woken got another corner. It is unusual, though. I mean, I was ex I've was really been expecting the last minute or so, but this must be the final one. Casey, corner. Hi, Connor. Welcome back. Still playing here. Ball into the box. Up goes Sass Davis. McNerney towards the back post. Headed off the, the line once again from Kabamba. And there's the half-time whistle, finally. We can catch breath, Connor. What a portfolio of chances for Woken towards the end of that first half. The best falling to Reese Brown. Who missed Worry about that. No cause of concern as to their attitude. They do want this. Ince onto Casey. Lofthouse left it for Brown. Brown shaping for the shot goes between two purple shirts. Still going, Reese Brown. Reese Brown! Oh, oh what a goal! Oh. Reese Brown with what a stunner! A goal. Absolutely marvellous from Reese Brown. Just what the doctor ordered. A woke in a back level. A sometimes overused out of nothing. That really was from Reese Brown. And he's back on the score sheet, his 18th goal of the season. Asking the fans for more. They've got their response. Woking won. Barnett won. Ian Nicholson. Terrific, terrific from Reese Brown. To his feet on the edge of the area. Two or three people around. He jinxed and turned. Managed to just work enough space to let loose. And that was a cracking goal. Goalkeeper Walk had no chance in goal. And... Uh, just what Woking needed. To point perfect ball into the box here. Casey goes low to Reese Brown, who stabs it in and towards the byline. Lovely turn from Brown. Needs a bit of support. Wakefield smashing one off the shin of Collins from Rangers. Kellerman falls to Ammond. Ammond trying to work it. Save by oh. the keeper. Good save from Walker down to his left. Probably not the pace or 
power that Ammon wanted, but it worked. It's a good save from Idris Kanu. But second half been very quiet. Brown, a real clash of legs in the middle of the pitch. Kellerman, did he catch his man? No, says the referee, allowed to go on. Kellerman, Jim Kellerman, oh. saved by Walker at the front post. Barnett absolutely furious with the decision to not get the free kick. But Laurie Walker, two minutes, two top saves, but goes into the referee's book for complaining. And to be fair, on the basis of what referees have been doing that season, I thought the referee was absolutely right. I think the, the, the defender was left scrabbling, Kellerman was away, and... Uh... Corner. Again, very direct, right underneath the front post. Falls to Gorman, sliced effort, Fernandez onside his Woods. Flag comes up eventually. Craig Ross did enough to put him off. It's a good save in the end. But it would have been a corner, flag came up for offside. But one or two alarm bells ringing at the back yeah. for Woken Ian. Yeah, and Ross, did, Ross has had a good evening so far. It ties in with the record set by Ricky Miller back in 2016 in his Dover days. But of course, Langstaff still has six games to play and will surely break the record. Reese Brown on the edge of the box, finding Wakefield! Oh! Over the crossbar, Lent back. At the worst possible time, Carnu onside says the line's been up against Dan Moss. Idris Carnu with a bit of room to manoeuvre, still going, still working it onto Woods on the edge of the penalty area. Ince is there, nice turn from Carnu, needs support still, locates Cropper. Cropper now on towards the penalty spot, falls to Gorman. Gorman off the crossbar! Onside is Pritchard, offside is Pritchard. Rattling the crossbar, Dale Gorman. What a strike, beat Craig Ross. Only for the bar to save Woking. Yeah, great, great work and a great shot there by Gorman. It, it, uh, it looked, it actually looked as though it was going comfortably over, and then it dipped. Just and, dipped uh, at the last minute. You know, over, over Easy. Ross. And, uh, but he worked the chance well. Amund back to his club captain. Casey infield to Rowan Ince. Falls to Brown. Brown left footed strike. Clean oh. away. Was he caught? Brown. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> Causing a nuisance all the second half, Reese Brown. The wrong side of Reven. Penalty kick given to the home team. Ian Nicholson. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, he got the ball again. They, they don't quite know what to do with him. And then he. Reese Brown, deep breath, hands on hips, steps up, short run up. Reese Brown, safe by the goalkeeper. And oh. Dakers can't put it in. Not the best penalty from Reese Brown. Better save though from Walker. A clap of the hands from the Barnet yeah. number one. And the scorer remains 1-1. Yeah, poor penalty really. It was it was low. Between Wasn't his own feet. Bit indecisive. Hacked away by McNerney. And brought down well by Dakers. Oh, switching the play to ball. Kellerman. What can Woking conjure up here? Lofthouse motoring forward with Reese Brown and Patrick Hammond. Lofthouse, cross, Brown. Is he being pulled to ground? Surely being pulled to ground. And is another penalty. Another penalty. Reese Brown pulled to the floor. And the referee had only one option. Yeah. Yeah, you could see that Brown was on it. Will he take a second one or are they going to bring somebody else up? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think they should do? I don't know. They they go by you know players. I suspect Podrick Pud Armand will will go for it. Joe McNerney is up there. They're not hurrying. I think they're going to give the ball to Reese Brown to a tone. Referee blows his whistle. Reese Brown again saved again. <laughs> Astonishing from Laurie Walker. Two penalties. Two penalties saved. And Reese Brown cannot believe his luck this time. Probably nothing wrong with the penalty. Amund finding Lofthouse onside. Lofthouse going all on his own. Amund strong touch, good challenge. Ince out to Moss has got time to open up his body. Bounces off the back of a Barnet shirt. Falls to Dakers at the back post. Dakers working back onto his right. Dakers! Oh. Wide. And hit the side netting, graze the side netting. There's the full time whistle. Well, the man at the moment is Laurie Walker. Two penalties for Woken, both taken by Reese Brown.